how do you play the harp with your belly so? Oh, I don't really. I can only reach about half the strings. <laughs> you only play half the harp? Yeah. Welcome to Miss Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 most chaotic TV weddings. Jesse's in the ducks! The ducks! Beautiful ceremony. Happy day. The and ducks! There he is, Schmidt! For this list, we'll be looking at the craziest journeys down the aisle, the most outrageous receptions, and most unbelievable shenanigans that went down before TV couples even got to say I do. What's your favourite chaotic TV wedding? Let us know in the comments. Number 10, Carol Crashes Sandra's Wedding, Superstore. Finally, it's Sandra's wedding day, and no one's more determined to make sure everything goes off without a hitch than Dina. This surprised many fans, given that she's never particularly been discreet about her opinion of her colleague. Damn it, Sandra! If you can't even convince my dad I'm dead, what the hell can you do? Still, it turns out that she has good reason to be on high alert, especially given Carol's past. I'm sorry, I tried, but I just couldn't let the anger go. A few mishaps hit Sandra and Jerry's big day, like an ankle bracelet's untimely beeping and the catering staff going on strike. However, Amy and Dina avert an even greater catastrophe when they rescue Sandra's cat from Carol's clutches. At least Sandra remained on cloud nine as she walked down the aisle. Love is patient, love is kind. Love does not envy. Bob! Number nine, Woody and Kelly's doomed nuptials. Cheers. It's a bad omen, to say the least, when someone predicts that the so-called happiest day of your life will likely be a disaster. According to my chart, this is the worst possible day for you guys to get married. If you do, the wedding will be a disaster. Still, the happy couple chooses to ignore Carla's warnings and embark on what quickly becomes an eventful day for all the wrong reasons. The priest dies, leaving an intoxicated Uncle Roger to stand in, Sam flirts with a married guest, and Rebecca has to finish decorating the cake after she insults the kitchen staff. Um, I think somebody better tell him to wait on that photograph. Why is that? Because the minister is dead! Meanwhile, Lilith's tasked with distracting the guests and the soon-to-be-wed couple from discovering the never-ending blunders behind the scenes. When you're smiling, <laughs> smiling, the whole world smiles. Maybe they should have listened to Carla after all. Although, if they had, we might have missed out on this highly entertaining and utterly unforgettable episode. Number 8. Jake and Amy's wedding almost goes off with a bang. Brooklyn Nine-Nine. Jake and Amy's toit nups get derailed when their ring bearer gets sick, Amy's veil gets dirty, and their wedding cake goes AWOL. Human hair is indistinguishable from badger fur. To make matters worse, the couple receives an ominous phone call that turns their venue into a crime scene. And who should be the leader of the bomb squad? None other than Amy's still smitten ex-boyfriend, Teddy, of course. Nope, haven't even gone in yet. Still putting on the bomb suit. Yeah, my job is super dangerous, but I like living life on the edge. Just kind of sexy if you think about it. As Jake and Amy work together to identify the perp behind the drama, Charles and the others rally to organise an impromptu wedding outside the precinct. The episode was initially meant to be the series finale. Talk about going out with a bang. But NBC deciding to save it from cancellation was the cherry on the Nakatomi Plaza wedding cake. We want these naps to be toyed. Excuse me? Number seven, everything goes wrong at Cam and Mitch's wedding. Modern Family. As in many sitcoms, Cam and Mitch can't get hitched without a few, well, hitches that hinder their big day. Good morning, almost hmm. husband. Good morning, almost. Send it out! <laughs> no! <laughs> oh, calm down. Pretty much everything goes wrong. Mitch's mum can't make it, Cam's parents won't stop fighting, and the dry cleaners mixed up their tuxedos. Of course, when they attempt to solve one out of three of these conundrums, they discover that the dry cleaners is closed. We knew that there would be a bump today, and here it is. We're getting it done early. This is our bump. Oh! Oh! Okay, okay, so this is our bump. As if that's not enough, their heavily pregnant minister, Sal, goes into labor and a wildfire breaks out near the venue. The wedding is moved to their apartment, which is far too small to hold all of their guests. Cam starts wondering if it's all a sign that they should cancel the wedding. The fire is already 28% contained. That doesn't sound like a lot. Luckily, Jay comes to the rescue right in the nick of time. Number six, Lillian Marshall's day goes awry. How I Met Your Mother. The series dedicated a whole season to Barney and Robin's tumultuous wedding. I have a better tie at home, it's a cornflower blue! But Lily and Marshall managed to embrace all that chaos in just one episode. And what doesn't go wrong? Hey, funny story. I tackled this guy I thought was Scooter. 
Turns out it's your photographer. Don't worry, I get the sweet camera phone, so we're covered. The florist's running late, the harp player's in labor, the photographer is out of commission, and Lily's veil gets ruined. Adding to the drama, Lily's family invited her still besotted ex, Scooter. Hey, Bill. Hey, Barney. Scooter, what are you doing here? It's not Scooter anymore. It's Bill. A lot of things have changed about me, Lily. Marshall doesn't fare any better when his hairstyling from hell turns into a haircut from hell. Although their efforts to cover it up are hilarious. <laughs> as disastrous as the day might seem, it results in the intimate outdoor wedding they'd always wanted and reminds everyone what marriage is really all about. You make me feel loved and you make me feel safe. Number five. Harry and Charlotte's wedding disaster is a lucky charm. Sex and the City. Charlotte's always dreamt of her picture perfect fairy tale wedding. However, that's not exactly how we describe her and Harry's special day. Maybe you should quit while you're uh, alive? The entire event is marred by a string of fiascos, including a red wine spill on the bridal gown and Miranda's speech catching fire. <laughs> Sorry, hun. Good speech, though. Not to mention an angry, bitter, and drunk best man. As you can imagine, Charlotte's heartbroken that the day isn't quite what she envisioned. But Carrie reminds her that she already had the perfect wedding once, and it led to an imperfect marriage. She muses that maybe a flawed wedding is a good luck charm for their marriage. With this positive spin in mind, Harry and Charlotte embrace the pandemonium. I would love to find a man who is strong enough to catch me. So, let's get to that reception so you can fall on a cake or something. Number four, Schmidt brings chaos to Cece and Shivrung's big day. New Girl. With misplaced rings, cursed brides, and jealous exes, New Girl doesn't shy away from the chaotic wedding trope. In Russia, we would strap you to goat and see if you live, and if you don't live, we eat the goat. But can anything really compete with a badger running loose in the vents at your venue? A jealous Schmidt will do anything to stop Cece from marrying Shivrung, and he enlists his friends to help. I can't back out now. Please, Schmidt is my closest friend. Help me. What did Jess say? Well, Jess didn't hear it. Cece told me with her eyes. While Nick refuses, Winston, aka Prank Sinatra, is on board. He scares Shivrung's horse, plays Cotton Eye Joe while Cece walks down the aisle, and accidentally unleashes a badger. In an attempt to save the day, Jess and Nick quite literally crash at the wedding. <laughs> While the couple-to-be ultimately decides to cool things off, this is one near nuptials no one's forgetting. Will you take me away from this madness? And you are not too short for me, I don't care what your mother says. Oh, Elaine! Number three, Ross says the wrong name. Friends. There are a lot of things that could derail a wedding. Well, apparently stabbing Iceman in the exercise yard just couldn't wait till Monday. If you plan on getting married in the heart of winter, a blizzard could wipe out your plans. Just ask Phoebe and Mike. Worse still, your vendors could mess up, or you could discover that your venue's being demolished, like Ross and Emily. Okay, I talked to the guy with the shovel and I found out what happened. What? 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 They tore it down a few days early. Still, both couples managed to find perfectly decent solutions to these obstacles. However, there's one particular infamous hiccup that was the final nail in Ross and Emily's doomed marriage. I, Ross. I, Ross. Take thee, Emily. Take thee, Rachel. Once you've said the wrong name during your vows, in front of all your friends and family, there's really no turning back. <laughs> Emily. Shall I go on? Nevertheless, both say I do, just to end up with a runaway bride situation in the very next episode. Could have been worse, you could have shot her. Number two, Amanda and Prince Michael's wedding nightmare. Dynasty. The 80s hit soap opera Dynasty was never short on drama. However, it seemed like Amanda's wedding to Prince Michael of Moldavia might have been one of those moments when audiences could breathe out and enjoy the occasion. With this ring, I've been wed. You are now united. Only the groom barely gets to kiss his new bride before the ceremony is crashed by a group of terrorists who open fire on the attendees. Ah, that's me, you crazy, get down! Ah, yeah. 
the episode was known as the Moldavian Massacre and served as the season 5 finale. It ended with everyone lying on the floor, seemingly lifeless. It drew in a whopping 25.9 million viewers and audiences would have to wait until the following season to learn if there were any survivors. Before we unveil our top pick, here are a few honourable mentions. Luke and Laura's wedding ends in a fight. General Hospital. Maybe they should try throwing confetti rather than fists and curses. There is no marriage. I'll tell you! Jesse starts his wedding day in jail. Full house. Becky ain't too happy. Hello, darling. You look mad. Are you mad? Uh-huh. <laughs> You're so cute when you're mad. Jules and Grayson's traveling wedding, Cougar Town. They gotta keep things moving on their beach wedding. All right, what the hell's going on here? You guys, go, go! Come on. Guys, a little help? Mike and Carol's wedding sets the tone for the series. The Brady Bunch. They get married in the pilot and the chaos never stops. <laughs> Save the cake. Oh. Turk misses his own wedding. Scrubs. A lot goes wrong, but a no-show grooms the icing on the wedding cake. Mr. Sulu? No, son. Hey, baby, look, I got mixed up. Is there still time if I race over there? No. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number one, the Red Wedding, Game of Thrones. In the real world, weddings are meant to be happy occasions. Don't you want to teach little Ned Stark how to ride horses? I do. However, in this fantasy series, they usually end up in tragedy. The Purple Wedding concludes with the demise of the groom. Meanwhile, the Black Wedding is a non-stop horror show, especially for Sansa. However, the most infamous of all is the Red Wedding, which was inspired by the Black Dinner of 1440 and the 1692 Massacre of Glencoe, real historical events that, that took place in Scotland. My king has married and I owe my new queen a wedding gift. Anyway, the entire wedding was set up as an act of revenge after Rob Stark breaks his marriage pact with the House of Frey. The result? Ambush, bloodshed, and death. You couldn't pay us to attend a wedding in the Game of Thrones universe. Every bride suffers the same. I'm sure you endured yours with grace. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Ms. Mojo. And be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.